Hey, good morning. What's poppin'? It's your boy, Jay the Comedian. How y'all doing today? Oh, how am I doing? I'm doing good today. I could be doing bad, but I actually feel really good. Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day so far. I hope you are too. Anyway, today I would like to talk to you guys about the ongoing cases against the Jehovah Witness organization because there's something I've been thinking about. Something that's really just 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 gotten into my brain and now I need to get it out of my mouth. <laughs> okay. I want to talk to you guys about the fact that no matter what happens, this is kind of a win-win-win for XJWs. One, the message is getting out and that's always a good thing. Two, it's going to definitely dent one hell of a hole inside the Watchtower organization pockets. And three, even if somehow the governor body makes it over and, and gets past this, it kind of proves my point as far as what we should worship, really. Money! <laughs> yes! We should worship money. That's right. If there's anything in life currently, that's actually worthy of being worshiped. One of those very few things is money. You heard me, people. Listen to me closely because you guys need to listen to me. First off, look at how people demonize money. Money is such this money is such a horrible thing you can't worship it. Money corrupts all and gives people power and do all this, that, and the third. And money is such a nasty, dirty thing, right? Like rich people. Oh, poor people hate rich people. <laughs> they don't pay their fair taxes. They get to do all the stuff they want to do. And they're immoral and all this other stuff. But let's think about this, for example, right? What is the immediate benefit of worshiping God versus worshiping money? <laughs> well, when you worship God, you have to do a lot, make a lot of sacrifices, you know, you got to work really hard, you know? When you worship money, <laughs> you eventually get to a point to where you acquire enough money where you don't have to work as hard anymore. And you get to do more things. You can enjoy more stuff. You can enjoy all the great stuff that the world has to offer. And, and, and what's actually funny is that no matter what God you worship, eventually he's going to ask for money from you. <laughs> So yes, worshiping money should be a thing. Because just think about it, man. If they make it past this case, if they're able to come out on the other side and continue things as they always have been, it's not because God helped them. Not at all. I don't care what you believe in. There's no way you're going to believe in a God who actively helped an organization that hit pedos. You cannot believe in that. That is something I will not accept you believing in. No. That's like a pimp protecting a young lady from selling her body to make money. <laughs> That's just not how things go. You know what I mean? I don't care what God you believe in. You cannot believe that he actually helped an organization cover up pedos. No way you can believe that. I refuse to believe that. And I know you do too. So then you have to ask the question, well, what saved them? What got them to the point where they were able to come out the other side? I'll tell you. Billions and billions of dollars. <laughs> That's what saved them. And it would prove once again that money is much, 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 much more powerful than God is. Oh, do you, you feel that feeling when I said that? You're like, oh, Jay, that's, come on, Jay, you're going too far now. <laughs> I am? Really? You think I am? Well, let's put it to the test. Everybody talks about how disgusting, like, chasing out the money is and devoting your life into making as much money as possible. It's a disgusting and horrible thing to do. But if you say, well, you devote your life to make God as much as, as happy as he possibly can, that's a beautiful thing to do, right? That's something rich people got poor people to believe. <laughs> because if you spend your life chasing after money, it'll just be more rich people out there. And rich people hate one thing more than poor people. That's even more rich people. Because they taking money out of their pocket. 
So they need to have people like thinking of money as it's demonized. But when really, when you think about it, you actually love money more than anything else in the world already. And I'll prove it. Here you go. Right now, I say worship money and you're like, oh, that, that, Jay, that just don't sound right. Money does not bring you happiness and all the other things that you hear people say, right? If you want to check for $600 million right now, you hit the lottery. Oh, I'm worth $600 million? Yes! You're going to cry. You're going to tell your family. You're going to have people coming up to you. You're going to be so happy. Am I right or am I wrong? You will be ecstatic. Yes, I got this. Thank you, God. <laughs> oh, what a blessing. This is the happiest I've ever been in my life, right? So getting the money will make you the happiest you've ever been. But working to act, actually devote your life to get that same thing is somehow demonized. Can you think, can you, can, you, can, you, can you see that? You know what I'm saying? Do you understand my reasoning? Because basically, you dedicating your life and working to get that is a bad thing. But you winning it in some you know, lottery is a good thing. And the reason for that is because as long as you tell people that they can win millions and millions of dollars via lottery, they're going to keep trying to do it. Even though the chances are so minuscule, you might as well say it's impossible. If you live with the thought, yeah, you're probably not going to do it. It's, it's, you're definitely not going to do it. It's impossible. Then people can actively, you know, they won't put money into the lottery because it's like, yeah, it's impossible to win it. I've never met anybody who won the lottery, ever. You know what I'm saying? And I know a ton of people that play. <laughs> now, I have met people who worked extremely hard and acquired wealth. Because, you see, that's the actual way of getting millions of dollars. It's to devote your life to it, find something you're passionate about, and work extremely hard to get that. Or start a cult and just swindle people out of their money. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> but it, it, as far as like the way to actually go about doing it, I believe rich people, this is a conspiracy theory, y'all. <laughs> I believe that wealthy elites do not want people in general out there working and dedicating their life to making money. I dedicate your life to God. That doesn't harm anybody. <laughs> Except you, the person who's trying to live the best life that they they can. You only get one life, baby. You, and if you want to live the best life you possibly can, dedicate your life to making money. You want to see the world, you want to travel, you want to actually be free? A little term that I know about, but not a lot of people know about. And I'm gonna tell you right now, okay? I don't even know if I want y'all to share this video because I don't want everybody knowing about this money stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I'll tell you now, the more money you have, the freer you are. Money is one of the few things in the world that is not racist. Now people giving the money away maybe. <laughs> but money itself is an equal opportunity lover of all, baby. And that is a fact. If you were to spend any large amount of times doing anything, I would spend it on becoming an entrepreneur on different ways that's successful that can acquire wealth and things like that. Because I'm telling you now, if the Jehovah Witnesses make it out of this case, it's not because they, they, they're God's people. It's because they acquired so much money <laughs> that they were able to put the right amount of money in the right person's pocket at the right time to get out of this mess that they're currently in. Because there's no way you can tell me God protecting them. <laughs> that's just not true. Up and down, that's not true. So listen to me and listen carefully. If there's anything worse, if there's anything worth worshiping, Money is high up on that list.
Makes the world go round, baby. But it ain't just money you should worship. I mean, like, I would personally worship your family, like your close family. You should worship them, you know? You should make sure that everything that you do is done to make sure that they're happy and they're taken care of. That's a good thing right there to be worshiped. Very good thing. Very beneficial to you and your family and your continued family going forward. You know what I'm saying? Putting them in the best position possible to enjoy life. I'm thinking about starting my own religion. <laughs> the more I talk, I'm like, man, I wish I could have a group of people that just did this, you know? I wouldn't ask for no money unless you go uh, donate to my, uh, my comedy special. <laughs> That's always nice. Link in the description. Forget it. I'm going to put the link in this description, too. Donate to my comedy, uh, <laughs> my one-hour comedy special I'm trying to shoot, man, if you want to. If you can. If not, that's fine, too. But the bigger point is, yeah, I might start a religion. You ain't going to worship God. You're going to have to worship your family, money, and women, because women are just awesome. They just rock. I, I don't know if you know like I know, but women are the bomb.com. Well, most women are. There are some a-holes out there. But anyway, <laughs> I hope y'all have as good a day as I am. Enjoy the rest of it. Holla, Chiguala. Deuces.